pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is C-Certified Brewhead, and welcome to a very Vermont edition of Versus, which is something we haven't done in forever. I'm here with my good mate, Rob. Brother, thank you for hanging out. Thank you, sir. Thank You're you our champion. Pleasure. <laughs> so, uh, we're here in Shelburne, Vermont, and uh, we're hanging out tonight. We're going to be drinking a whole bunch, because that's what we do in Vermont. And so I was telling Rob, should I organize a podcast or something for this weekend? You're like, you know what? I've got some stuff we could do for the verses. So, I want, man, I'm going to let you take over and explain why you picked these two. I tried to make it as close as I possibly could. Um, so we're, both, we're looking at two farmhouse ales. Uh, obviously, we have Arthur from Hill Farmstead. We have a uh, beer decoupage from Chester King. Austin, Texas. They're both from 2017 yep. I mean if you want to really get down to like super granular this one is April this one is June um, they're both brewed from the uh, well water from the brewery they're both uh, they both have the house yeast cultures the only main difference that you're going to see is that this one being a beardy uh, coupage is that it's uh, blended with some of the older uh, spontaneously fermented barrel aged beers from Jester King other than that I think they're pretty, pretty spot on. Yeah, I yeah. think you really nailed it. I love that you took it to heart and actually like went really in because we had a few hours explaining to you. Mm -hmm. If any of you guys hadn't watched it, because it was quite a while ago. To be fair, uh, we did a couple. We did I think three videos of Treehouse versus Trillium, and we basically, or even some of them were Treehouse versus Treehouse as yeah. well. Just got whatever we could get our hands on. We were just grateful to get it, and we figured we might as well do a video. Yeah. And people commented a lot that they weren't similar enough. I'm like, mate, give me a break. Like, you just you get what you can get when you're in Canada. But uh, I think you've curated this very, very well. So I guess let's pour it up. What do you want first? Well, we're going to do them at the same time. Same time, perfect. Yeah. Okay. So we can crack them and pour them in. Uh, we'll have one in each class. Now, you've got these little um, extra guys here. You're out here, good babe. Um, do you want to explain what we're going to do with these little guys? Well, hopefully well? Uh, we'll pour off the majority and then we'll leave the yeast at the bottom. Okay. And then we'll uh, get the cloudy, basically what was left in the bottom of the barrel mm -hmm. I pass me your glass yes sir um, into those tasters okay we might not we'll see and what's what's that cold you mentioned that was cold something uh, I think I mean you could call it true but true is oh sorry the actual process of like uh, you called it something oh it like, is uh, did, I mean, you're basically decanting it right now oh you're trying to sorry you keep going no, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, no. sorry, sorry keep going keep going yeah. hey man we're in no rush we can talk amongst ourselves um, so the idea is they do that at Hill Farm Set, which is what you'd, where you'd seen it before. Is yeah, that, so you get the clear, you get the clear, uh, the glass clear layer. beer, and then and they pour that in there just so you can taste the additional. Yeah, what's left in the bottom. So I mean, we could swirl what's left in the bottom and basically see what we. Rousing the yeast. Yeah, rousing the yeast. What we got yeah, I mean, that can, yesterday. I mean, you can look right here and see the the color difference that we have. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, look at that. So we'll put that next to the uh, the old JK. So you had uh, it's really good. I mean, being in, you're in the states, it's much easier to trade. You know, you don't have to deal with the border nonsense that we do. True. So you have a, a mate out in Texas. Yeah, my buddy, um, my buddy in Texas, I trade with. Uh, nice. Likes to. Uh, I like to send him Hill Farmstead, and he likes to send me uh, Jester King. Hey, it's a pretty good arrangement. Thanks, John. Have you shout us to Johnny? Have you had, of course you've had Arthur, because actually I had this for the first time with you here about four months ago, I think. Um, have you had this beer de coupage before? Uh, I, I don't think I've had the beer de coupage before. No. Have you had much from Jester King? I've had a lot of their, uh, the, the fruited sours. I've had, uh, they made a, uh, it was a, a vice beer. Nice. That, uh, a, a, a German style vice. German style vice, that's pretty good. Cool. It, uh, it was it was really good. All right. I'm interested to see what they uh, what this uh, this little bad boy is yeah. like. The only one I ever had from Jay, Just the King was um, it was a fig um, beer, mm -hmm. and uh, was, I had it on my birthday this year, and I puked that night. I puked it all up. I don't know why. Of the Jester? Yeah, because well, the Jester was bad. I think it was because I had like oh. ten. Okay, okay, so we so, are. Okay, so, so the darker one is yep. the Jester King, and the lighter one is Arthur. So in the event i would say maybe we start with the other just in case yeah i assume that the color difference yeah is, is gonna see yeah. that um it's likely because of the blended like basically the, yeah, the camera bear, the, right yeah. is um there you go. so these in, two inside are, is arthur and these ones are uh just the king so i mean you can tell it's probably the blended style let's go compare the notes all right what are you getting from that it, sm of, it, um, it smells like it's gonna be dry 
definitely smells dry. Um, uh, estery. It's a little. It, yeah, it, it has. Sorry. It has that. Uh, it's a little musty. Yeah. Slightly phenolic, but nothing crazy. Yeah, this one actually smells sweeter. Much sweeter. Smells yeah. like juice or something. I wonder if uh, you know what you could probably the uh, the barrel. Oh yeah, so okay, that's the other one difference you did mention that the blenders, uh, the stuff they blended is a wild yeah ale that was aged in a barrel. But I'm wondering uh, the the the, uh, the flavors from the barrel I think are coming through. Yeah, so all right, here we go. Let's do Cheers. Some Cheers, man. Get in ya. Get in ya. It's exceptional. Yeah, it's good. Oh my god, it's really good. I'm really appreciating this stuff more and more. All right, so that's kind of like... Um, it's not as dry as I thought it was going to be. No, it definitely smells drier than, uh, than it was. Uh, by the way, how Vermont is this right here? There's like deer and shit. And like, can you hear that? Right? Deer whining in the background. Uh, could have been a deer. <laughs> could have been a child. Um, sorry, I got distracted by the Vermont. Mm. It's like a, like a little bit of the typical... Like, um, it's... Citric, actually, that's what I'm looking for. It's yeah. Citric, a bit lemony. And it's only got a little bit of the banana and clove, kind of like, you know, the phenolic stuff that comes with uh, saisons usually, which is technically, these are farmhouse ales, but, like, I guess they would be saisons. Yeah, a traditional, a traditional farmhouse ale would be a saison. A good way. Yeah, I'm picking a little dry at the end. Definitely a little dry. Right, at, right at the end on the yeah. sides of the tongue, uh, but um, not, like, mm. super uh, enough to, I mean, basically just want you to drink more. Yeah, 100%. By the way, I, I don't think that I explained it at the start because we haven't done these videos for like, we, we went hard on beer mail. So the point of the versus videos, we're comparing two very similar uh, beers from, we've done it before with the same breweries. It's better if they are from different breweries, it'll be more fun. And the idea is just for us to see which one we prefer more. Hopefully yeah. we disagree. Yeah, it's more fun it, that way. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. Well, it's two, like either way, nobody loses is drinking both of them. So okay. I, t I taste a little pepper in there too, though. You, you picked that up? Just as, a, just as a side note. Subtle. Yeah. Now you mention it. I kind of at the end. Yeah. Unless now I'm thinking it and it's got put in my head now. I'm kind of getting a slight burn. Yeah. Either way, it's, it's fucking fire. All right. Chester King. Clinkies. Get it in you. Cheers. Hmm. It's not that, that different. I reckon that I can definitely taste the barrel and the blended... Um, Wild ale in there. It's a bit funky, slightly funky. Uh, I think it, I feel a little bit of sharpness in the middle versus okay. at the end. Uh, I, I, it carrying through towards the end a little bit. Okay. Uh, and I, I feel not as much uh, citrus character in it. Definitely not. Um, mm. I don't know what I, would, I don't know what I, I don't know what I would call it. Mm. Like the sweetness? No, just the the bite is it's a different type of bite. It's kind of like. I know it's not the right word for it. It's sort of like goozy, yeah, a little bit. It's a, a little, yeah. Maybe that's just the. It reminds this, me of yeah the, the the wild. I think the wild, the wild is just, just coming the, through a little bit. Yeah. It's a little it's a little bit murkier versus this because I think the the, the clean culture versus the wild culture. Good point. Is um, what my thoughts would be. Yeah. No, I definitely. I guess now like, they are quite similar beers. I guess in that sense, that is be the main differentiator. Um, so it's kind of more, I guess, when it comes down to this, as far as personal preference, do you prefer the funk or not? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, these are two of the most exceptional breweries in the country. Yeah, they're both uh, phenomenal. So, I mean, like, you know, and it's not easy to get, I mean, the only way to get it is to get it shipped out. Like, you can't buy it here, right? Uh, every once in a while, some of the uh, the uh, craft distributors will get a small amount. Like Bevy? Yeah, Bevy. Uh, Jason. Every once in a while, I think like once a year they get some. Damn. Um but I mean, what's the the best part about it is that people aren't looking for it up here. Okay. So when, so when, it's, it when, it's, when it's there, you can pick it all up, and it'll be there for you know a, a short, you know, like a week. Jeez. Yeah. How are people not looking for it? I feel like I guess there's enough good beer out here that's like, eh. Hayes Grace. We're in New oh. England. We're not in. You know what I mean? We're not yeah. I get down down south versus uh, up here. I, hmm. uh, I mean, the the sours are in the south. Yeah. The haze I feel is up. Up north. Interesting. Yeah, I mean that. Uh, that's those are my thoughts. I mean, the people from my buddy in Texas always wants, always wants the haze. Always wants the haze it. and can get the and there can get the sours. Yeah. When we were in Austin, man, I couldn't find. Well, there was some some stuff, and to be honest, it wasn't even close to what we can get here. Yeah, it's trickling down. Even even in, in Canada, like it wasn't the same. That's yeah. a good point. Uh, I can go back to the uh, the old uh, after there. Mm -hmm. Just going. 
Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's do this. Uh, will this will this mess it up? No, I'm, this I'm gives just, you like a real know, direct. I, I don't know. I might take Oof. a little, little sip. Wow, this is like concentrated. It's funny. Super funky. Damn. This almost tastes sweeter. Sweeter than that one? Wow, that is so good. That, that is incredibly citric. Now going back to it. Oh, yeah. To, I, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely... Uh... Definitely pretty sweet. And it's still funky. I almost feel like the, the troube there is like less funky than the actual beer itself. Yeah, it tastes a little sweeter. I was actually going to say that. Um, hmm. This what, I, 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 I that the uh, that the oh, beer coupage is a little bit sweeter. Yeah, um, I feel like this is drying out a little bit more though as it warms yeah. up. Hmm. Do you have any thoughts on which one you prefer more? I think I know what I prefer more. I think I know what I prefer more too, and I bet you could take a guess. Just be, I, just because of where I'm from. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what your thoughts are. I, I feel the same. Yeah, uh, Arthur, for me, why though? Aside from the obvious uh, bias, I know you'd be. Uh, a I mean, this, this is. Admit. I mean, this is phenomenal. Um, it just seems to. It's. I mean, right now when it's super hot out, it's a little bit too dry, and it's it's le- it like it's like a lot going on. Yeah, and I and this is this is way more drinkable to me right now. Yeah, this is like, do you know what? Even having it side by side, this starts to feel a little thin. Yeah. And uh, lacking in flavor in comparison to the Arthur. Just just side by side there. The carbonation. Not as sharp. I think it's a little too sharp. Hmm. Hmm. I, I mean, I, I've taken a few more sips of this and I have the Arthur and I feel it's it's coming up a little bit more then. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it just feels, I don't know why, something about this. Maybe it's just the funk, it doesn't appeal. Like, I like wild, ale, wild ales and stuff, yeah. but I guess I was sort of, I knew it was going to be there, but I'm, I'm looking for that yeah. farmhouse kind of vibe, and I think I just prefer that, personally, over the funk. And I know a lot of people probably would be completely the other way around. So we're running with a unanimous uh, Arthur? I think so. Bam. Cheers. Beautiful. Cheers, brother. Where can people find you online? Rob Molesky look for me robmolesky.com <laughs> oh yeah you have that yeah time. I got that I just put well, it up I, I forgot you forgot yeah hit him up we'll put your Instagram Wait, up on so the screen lucky. you got your first and last name yeah oh my god this is true yeah it doesn't happen very often yeah Yeah, guys google my first and last name no. to see what website comes up <laughs> tiffanyalexis.com yeah take a look at that it's uh I have to think about it yeah it's, <laughs> it's a problem you're in for a treat yeah nice make sure the children aren't around if you know what I'm saying fair enough <laughs> And it's definitely, you look at that and it's not Tiffany. It's definitely not. That's why I'm happy. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's not even close. If she was like black, then it would be concerned. But yeah, but it's definitely not me. So we're, okay. we're safe. Yeah. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hopefully you did. Smash the thumbs up. Hit subscribe below. Hit the notification bell. Ding so you know when the new, new drops. Uh, follow us on social media at BOS Podcast and check out the long form audio. We got some fire podcasts uh, in the next month that we've already done. And then we've got a whole bunch of sick stuff coming up. Um, on Apple Podcasts and uh, Spotify specifically. They are the best places. Review, rate, subscribe, follow, all of that. That is it, y'all. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Get it in ya. Cheers. Cheers.